So who put their pop career on hold to support their husband? The answer was Jessica Taylor. That's right, uh, Liberty X star Jessica Taylor sidelined her pop career to follow her husband cricketer Kevin Peterson around the world and saying it was her duty to be there for him, even if he's only at the crease for five minutes at a time. That's a <laughs> cricket gag. Uh, don't forget the highlights from today's Ashes are on at 5 at 7.15. Actually, the weather is looking slightly better. And, of course, Posh Spice there, she didn't have a pop career by the time she met David Beckham. <laughs> I'm over it. Uh, we're into the last part of the last show of the week before our summer break. We're asking if it's selfish to leave your family behind so that you can go off and follow your dreams. We're going to get James Gann and Christopher's thoughts in just a moment. Yours on the usual number, please. Uh, 0207 173 Now, um, you could be studying away from home, uh, serving in the army overseas, say, or working offshore. You might even be thinking of racing to the South Pole or running the Atlantic. Uh, but if that involves leaving your partner and your kids behind, uh, are you being selfish? Surely, how long you're away for must be the deciding factor. I mean, no-one's going to complain if you have the odd night away from home when you're on the road, or maybe the odd week. Uh, but what if you're on tour for, for months at a time? Maybe in a theatrical production begins, or in Afghanistan with the army. You can't always take your other half with you, as Sir Paul McCartney used to when he was married to Linda and on the road with Wings. Uh, they never spend a night apart, he claimed. <laughs> and now, if you've been watching uh, On Thin Ice, you'll know that both Ben and James were struggling with the emotion of leaving their loved ones behind. Hmm. <laughs> the psychologists you'll be pleased to say reckon you shouldn't give up everything uh, for the sake of your family because you only end up resenting them um, in some shape or form. And, I, and it's interesting because you said as that first bit of the clip came up at the airport that you hadn't seen that before. And I wanted to talk about this even though we've done it before because I just thought that moment on the ice when you said that and I was watching on Sunday and I thought that's really kind of profoundly... Uh, yeah. It really, I guess, resonated and would resonate for anyone who has been away from home for a period of time. It was, as I said there, there's a lot to think about on a daily basis. It was Christmas Day as well, wasn't it? That was Christmas Day, and you, you couldn't, you, know, you did, honestly didn't have that much time to think about, about home. But then when something special happens, you want it to share it with, the, with, with special people. And, and that highlighted the fact that I wasn't there, and then it makes you think why you're not there and what you, should you be doing. And you know, I remember that that happening at the airport and it was, it was horrible he doesn't it kind of it, it was all fine you know, for the month before I left to go to Antarctica he would say have a nice day in the South Pole before I left and so you kind of and I kind of partly thought that as we sat down and explained it and it wasn't a surprise that I was going and we talked about it a lot over the over the year but when it actually came to going it he the switch of realizing I was going was really hard and that that then makes you question the selfishness of it, and and I guess maybe part of the reason I haven't watched it is because that. Have you not watched? You haven't watched no, it. No, I haven't. I haven't. Not not because I, I don't enjoy. It. I just don't really like watching mm, myself. No. I tell you, and also, yeah, I, I watched some of the Atlantic one with a, with a mate, and and I go, God, I'm really not very nice. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> uh, I go, you're not very nice. They've stitched me up in the edit. He goes, Well, maybe. <laughs> uh, so I thought best not to, but it's. It's hard, and you have to make sure that when you're at home, you're at home properly, yeah. mentally and physically. Would you, it, 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 if your wife asked you to stay behind, if everyone wanted you to stay behind, would you? Or would you? Is it? I mean, it's obviously a big, big part of your life to do these things. She really wasn't keen on me no, going across the Atlantic, and and that was partly because I didn't explain it well. Yeah. As much as it's almost impossible to explain spending two months in a boat with another man <laughs> <laughs> with no clothes. <laughs> 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 but this time it was. It was it was very different, and you know, Bev was pregnant when I went away. We now have a, a, a little girl to go with with Croydy there. And uh, if it was because you know it was genuine, you know, real danger, or there was an, another issue, then yeah, not if it was just because I don't want you to go away. You know, I'll I'll get bored with you right. here, which it, which it wouldn't be. No. So I think you I, you would obviously good point listen. though. That's a good, that's a good point that if there was a reason, mm. then yes. Yeah. But, Absence no. makes the heart grow fonder. I mean, I think it's quite good. I think people who often are linked together all the time, it's very difficult to, to I mean, I think the Paul and Linda thing would freak me out. Absolutely, I, mean, the idea I couldn't bear that. Nice. Whereas if you have space, I mean, I go away, Neil goes away, and, it's, it, and then when we get back together again, it's fantastic. You know, it's, it's really, I think it's a, important, funnily enough, and something which should be, which should be encouraged. What about you, Paula? Me, if it was leaving a partner, absolutely. See you later. I'm off. But if it was, a... <laughs> <laughs> but if it was like leaving my daughter, that would no. absolutely kill me. I've, you know, she went off on holiday with her dad for a week, and I was, 
I went out a lot. I had a great night. <laughs> Don't get me I've wrong. I've got the photos of Don't you go, yeah, with exactly. the trannies at five o'clock in the morning. Tranny shack, absolutely. <laughs> no, I had a great time. Let my hair down, so to speak. <laughs> but, um, no, I had a great night. But honestly, after a week, you just... Well, I could, I couldn't, I don't think I could do it. She comes with me to a lot of places. True enough, she's here today. She is. Uh, time is very short. We're down to the last sort of few seconds or so. Let's find out what you think. Is it selfish, Kirsty? We have Vicky on line three. Is, is it f selfish to go off and follow your dreams, Vicky? No, not at all. I don't think so. Um, my sister's going to live and work in New Zealand in September, and I love her to bits. But there's no way in the world that I'd, I'd stop her from doing it. It's what she's wanted to do for a long time. My sister, we did the same, went to Texas 14 years. She's been there. Just, uh, we just had her over here for four weeks, longest period of time I've spent with her in 14 years. And if I think about it any longer, I'm going to start crying. No. <laughs> but you're right. We live in a world where you can use the internet. We've got mobile phones. It's not like I, I won't be able to speak to her. So I think it's very selfish if you decide to impart your views on them and make them feel guilty for going. And if it was your other half, your partner? Well, that's a bit different, because we're married and he's got responsibilities. <laughs> 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 you can hide behind the book if you want. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> mm, listen, um, time is almost out. Thank you for that, Vicky. Oh, I do I think about my sister? It does make me feel like welling up. Um, she's such a laugh. Anyway, uh, that is all for us uh, until the end of the summer. James, um, great to see you. It really is. Um, Race to the Pole, the book, I can recommend uh, thoroughly. And On Thin Ice, I mean, a fantastic TV show. You should look at it, it's good. <laughs> um, look forward to hearing more about your next adventures. Uh, Gail and Biggins, um, too short, wonderful week, a wonderful day with you, girl. We'll see you later on tonight. Ladies and gents, show your appreciation for the book. <laughs> um, I don't want to sign off. I want to sign off by saying a huge thank you uh, to you guys, uh, not just at home, but in our audience as well. Uh, your cards, emails, letters, tweets. We can forget the tweeters. You haven't made me show what it is. We couldn't do it without you or you. Thank you. Have a wonderful summer. See you at 9.15, Monday the 24th of August. <laughs>